Hi everyone, welcome to Technique Thursdays. It's a new venture I'm running um, and hopefully, if time allows, every Thursday you're going to pop online and give you a demo of a new technique, a new product, how to use a, a, a certain craft item that you have been wondering how to use, just to give you a bit more info and, and share my knowledge. I know some of you can't get to classes because um, you live far away, so hopefully this might help you a little bit. Um, sharing my knowledge and getting you motivated to do new things. So today we are going to do cream paste, which is a stamp area product, and texture plates. These are some of my favourite um, techniques and products, but there's something that you don't really know how to use until someone showed you. So I thought I'd break the magic and give you a bit of a quick lesson. So the stamp area products, stamp area, one of my favourite stockists, uh, favourite supplies, and I am a stockist for them. So I do have a few little bits in stock. I'll go through them at the end. I'll show you how to use it first and make you love it. So cream paste, it looks a little bit like yoghurt, I want to say. I'll show you when I open it, but it has the most amazing effects. So this is one I've made. You can see, hopefully, the textures and it's bendable, absolutely bendy, will not crack like um, some other pastes, it's really bendy. So if you're putting that round a bottle or round something, it'd look absolutely amazing. You can cut little bits of it on a panel like this. You might not want all of that. You can get five or six different bits out of it. It's durable, you can paint it. And I just love how bendy it is. It won't crack, it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. And then I've got some that I made earlier. So texture plates. There's lots and lots of different types of them. I hope you can see on here. Um, it's a bit see-through, so you probably might not be able to. But there's loads of loads of different ones. This is an alchemy one I've got. So you don't have to use all the texture plates. You can just use a bit of it. So I'm just going to put a bit on this corner. You can see it's like sun, sun and moons. So it comes in pots like this. They're £7.49 from me. More expensive elsewhere. I always like to be um, beat everyone else's prices. So it's £7.49 for a pot and it has this um, seal bit on the top. Keep this on the top when you're not using it because it keeps it all nice and juicy. You don't want it to dry out. So it looks a bit like, like yoghurt. It's really smooth and really nice. <laughs> Look at it and kind of want to eat it. Please don't eat it. But it just looks really, really nice, like cream. So what you do with a spatula, hopefully you can see okay, you spatula it on. Now it has to be quite thick. Because these texture plates are quite shallow, they're not suitable for pouring resin in because the resin would just go off the side. But they're perfect for this. So I'm putting it on and I'm putting it on quite thick. So I'll do you a close up in a second. A little bit more on. Don't be, um, what's the word, stingy with it because it won't work. You've got, you've got to put plenty on. And then try and smooth it. You can sit and play with it forever. It doesn't go hard as you're doing it, so you can take your time. You've got as long as you want. So can you see, I can't see any of that mould through it. If I turn it over, it's all white. Because it's so shallow, if I could see a bit of the mould through it, when you tear it off, as I'll show you in a minute, it wouldn't, it'd come off in pieces. You want it to come off in one big one big lump. So put plenty on. It doesn't matter if the back's untidy at all. You're not going to see it. So that's that. And then when you're not using it, put the lid on it. You've got plenty left there for another day. So when you've done this, you have to leave it. I'd say 24 hours. If you can leave it 48 hours, great. Just put it on the side and forget about it for a few days. If you try and lift it off and it's not ready, it's still a bit squidgy. I'll lift some off in a second for you and you'll see what I mean. So just put it on the side and just forget about it. It doesn't have to be hot or cold or anything. Just chuck it on the side and forget about it. So here are some I made earlier. So here's one. I did the whole thing. So you can see I've covered it well. That's the other side of it. So this one's been left, I don't know, two or three days. And then this is the best bit. You can start to peel it, she says. <laughs> this is my favourite bit. Pull it away from the edge. Once it gets going, it does. You leave a bit round the edge. And once you get the edges up, it's much easier. If you're pulling it and it's a bit squidgy, 
put it down and leave it alone because it's not ready. It's got to be hard. So it should, if it's ready, pull off quite nicely. It is a really satisfying process. It takes a bit of pulling off because it's so big. The easiest bit is pick all the edges off first and then it'll, it'll pull. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's because I'm trying to rush. <laughs> so I said, if it's not coming off like this, put it down, leave it alone. Give it another, another day or so. <sighs> and there you go. So hopefully you can see the texture. All them indentations are really, really deep. And the back of it doesn't matter as it was untidy because you're going to stick it. So it's bendy, it's pliable, anything round bottles or anything. It cuts really easily so you can trim the edges. Have it whatever shape you want. You can cut little bits just for a mixed media project or on a bit of power text or anything. It's great. So as I say, you can't use these moulds with resin because they're so shallow, the resin would just pour out of them. You could, um, if you had a clay, a stone art clay or something, press into it and make it, it wouldn't be as good as that. There's nothing I've found that's as good as this. There really isn't for these. That's why Stamperia make them to go with each other because they just work. So they're texture impression moulds. These are 4 99 each. Got a few in stock. I've got this one. I've got one of them. I've, oh, you can't see it, can you? Can you see it? I've got a, a cogs one that is just pure cogs. It's all different cogs. That's four ninety nine. I've got a Japanese one. I'll put that under it. Maybe you can see it. That's all Japanese writing. And then I've got this beautiful. It's um, it's a big clock, like an alchemy. What's the word for star signs? I think of the word all the different star signs and things <laughs> on there as soon as I've come so I've got them four in stock that are 4 99 each I've got two of these in stock which are £7.49 each I can get more it's not a problem to get more if you want more but they do last you quite a while depending how big a piece you can you do so once you've got these you're like oh what do I do with them so this is one I've just painted with black acrylic black gesso I just painted it black so to bring it to life, we'll use waxes. I love waxes. So I thought I'd use these two. Again, I've got these in stock. They're £4.99 a pot. They're the best waxes on the planet. They really are. So with waxes, paint something black. Don't do it on white because it just doesn't show up. Black is the, the best thing for waxes. So you put some on your finger. Rub it at the side. Hmm, can't get any on. And then hopefully you can see this. We oh look at this. All I'm doing is literally going over the top. Simple as that. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? So all them beautiful details that you couldn't see a second ago, just pop a bit of wax on it. How fab is that? I might just put a bit of this colour on as well and try and Put two colours on so it shines a little bit um, coppery in some bits. I'll go around the edges. So this is the bit you saw me just um, scrape on. I absolutely love that. I think that's amazing. And because it can bend as well, put it around a vase. You can do whatever with it. You can see why they're my favourite products, can't you? You really can. Absolutely love them. I've got another one here that needs demoulding. I'll show you this one. This, I just had a bit of cream paste left, so I just smeared it on and made sure I'd put enough on. You'll be able to see when you haven't got enough on, like these edge bits, that it just doesn't peel off properly. So let's have a go at peeling it. With it being a background for mixed media, you don't have to have the whole lot. You just want a bit of it, really. And get it off. Makes a lovely, lovely noise when it's peeling off. Mm. 
and I quite like it hasn't got um, square edges I like it just free flowing so there I haven't put much on there and it's just ripping when it comes off it's not coming off in one piece so it's a good example of don't be stingy with it put plenty on once you've done one you get a feel for how much to put on oh look at that so I love all of the edge bits like this people would try their hardest to make them look like that but the texture on that you imagine that painted black with some of them waxes on or whatever color you want when anything's textured it's where waxes really come to life because they they highlight the the top bits of it and leave the bottom bits a bit dark so I hope that gives you a bit of an overview of what cream paste and texture plates do they're the kind of mystery products that I have in here and everyone's like oh what do they what do they do so now you know um if you want any let me know I, I'm not doing this to sell them to you if I've got it in stock I will but I'm not I'm not all about the sales that's not what I'm here for I'm here to educate you get your mojo going and get you all crafting because that's what makes me happy I'm going to try and do one of these videos every Thursday I might do it in the week and then just post it on a Thursday but we're going to call it a, a technique Thursday so if there's anything in particular you want to see and I can do it just let me know Fantastic. I shall see you all next Thursday. Bye bye.